Unveiling the power of reverse intimidation. A shift in perspective. Intimidation is a term often associated with fear and discomfort. Traditionally, it has been viewed as a negative force, used by individuals or groups to assert dominance and control over others. However, a fascinating concept has emerged in recent years, the idea of reverse intimidation. This unconventional approach challenges the traditional power dynamics and opens up new possibilities for personal and professional growth. Understanding reverse intimidation. Reverse intimidation involves turning the tables on conventional power dynamics, allowing individuals to reclaim control in situations where they might typically feel vulnerable. Rather than succumbing to intimidation, individuals utilizing reverse intimidation tactics leverage their strengths and confidence to create a powerful and positive impact. Key principles of reverse intimidation. 1. Confidence as a weapon. Reverse intimidation revolves around building and projecting confidence. Instead of being overwhelmed by external pressures, individuals harness their self-assurance to confront challenges head-on. This confidence becomes a powerful tool to alter the dynamics of a situation. 2. Authenticity and self-awareness. Reverse intimidation emphasizes the importance of being authentic and self-aware. Understanding one's strengths and weaknesses allows individuals to navigate situations with a genuine sense of self, making it difficult for external pressures to erode their confidence. 3. Embracing vulnerability. Rather than fearing vulnerability, reverse intimidation encourages individuals to embrace it. By acknowledging vulnerability, individuals become more relatable and authentic fostering genuine connections that can undermine traditional intimidation tactics. 4. Positive assertiveness. Reverse intimidation does not involve aggression or hostility. Instead, it focuses on positive assertiveness, the ability to stand one's ground with a calm and composed demeanor. This approach helps to shift the balance of power without resorting to negative tactics. Applications of reverse intimidation. 1. Professional settings. In the workplace, reverse intimidation can be a game changer. Employees who embrace their skills and knowledge confidently can challenge hierarchies and contribute to a more collaborative and innovative work environment. 2. Negotiation and conflict resolution. In negotiations or conflict resolution, reverse intimidation can be an effective strategy. By maintaining composure and confidence, individuals can influence discussions positively and reach mutually beneficial outcomes. 3. Personal relationships. Reverse intimidation is not limited to professional settings. It can also be applied in personal relationships. Individuals who understand and project their authentic selves can establish healthier connections and navigate conflicts constructively. 4. Public speaking and presentations. Public speaking often triggers anxiety and intimidation. Reverse intimidation encourages individuals to embrace the opportunity, confidently share their insights, and connect with the audience on a personal level. Reverse intimidation challenges the traditional narrative surrounding power dynamics and fear by harnessing confidence, authenticity, and positive assertiveness. Individuals can navigate various situations with newfound strength. Embracing vulnerability and projecting self-awareness, reverse intimidation opens the door to personal and professional growth, empowering individuals to redefine their experiences and interactions. In a world where intimidation is often seen as a negative force, the concept of reverse intimidation offers a refreshing perspective emphasizing the strength that lies within each individual to reshape their reality. Examples of practicing reverse intimidation in real-life scenarios. 1. Professional meetings. Instead of feeling overwhelmed during meetings, individuals practicing reverse intimidation can confidently contribute their ideas. By embracing their expertise and knowledge, they shift the focus from intimidation to constructive collaboration. 2. Job interviews. Candidates can practice reverse intimidation by showcasing their skills confidently. Rather than succumbing to nervousness, they can focus on highlighting their strengths, experiences, and the value they can bring to the organization. 3. Negotiations. In negotiation scenarios, 
Reverse intimidation involves maintaining a calm and assertive demeanor. By clearly articulating needs and desires without aggression, individuals can influence positive outcomes. 4. Public speaking. Public speakers can employ reverse intimidation by embracing the opportunity to share their insights. By connecting with the audience through genuine expression and passion, they turn potential intimidation into an engaging and authentic experience. 5. Team projects. In team settings, individuals practicing reverse intimidation foster a collaborative environment. By acknowledging their strengths and weaknesses, they contribute authentically, encouraging others to do the same and creating a more cohesive team dynamic. Learning to be more self-aware and authentic. 1. Reflection. Take time for self-reflection. Regularly assess your strengths, weaknesses, values, and goals. Understanding yourself better allows you to navigate situations with authenticity. 2. Seek feedback. Ask for feedback from trusted friends, family, or colleagues. Constructive feedback can provide insights into blind spots and help you refine your authentic self. 3. Mindfulness practices. Engage in mindfulness activities such as meditation or journaling. These practices can help you become more aware of your thoughts, emotions, and reactions, promoting self-awareness. 4. Continuous learning. Actively seek opportunities for personal and professional development. As you acquire new skills and knowledge, you become more confident, enhancing your authenticity. 5. Authentic expression. Practice expressing your thoughts and feelings genuinely. Avoid conforming to societal expectations if they conflict with your true self. If you found value so far in this video, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Effectiveness of reverse intimidation. 1. Generally effective. Reverse intimidation can be effective in many situations, especially where confidence, authenticity, and positive assertiveness are valued. It is often successful in professional settings, negotiations, and interpersonal relationships. 2. Not universally applicable. While reverse intimidation is a powerful tool, it may not be universally applicable. In situations where immediate action or assertiveness is required, a more direct approach may be necessary. 3. Dependent on context. The effectiveness of reverse intimidation depends on the context and the individuals involved. It may not work in highly competitive or confrontational environments where direct action is essential. 4. Requires adaptability. Successful implementation of reverse intimidation requires adaptability. Individuals should be attuned to the specific dynamics of each situation and adjust their approach accordingly. Reverse intimidation is a valuable concept that empowers individuals to navigate various scenarios with confidence and authenticity. While it may not be a one-size-fits-all solution, its principles can be applied strategically to create positive outcomes in many aspects of life. More examples of practicing reverse intimidation in real-life scenarios. 1. Networking events. Instead of feeling overwhelmed at networking events, practice reverse intimidation by confidently approaching others. Share your skills and experiences authentically. Turning potential intimidation into an opportunity to establish meaningful connections. 2. Handling criticism. In the face of criticism, respond with calm and constructive feedback. By acknowledging your imperfections and showing a willingness to learn. You transform a potentially intimidating situation into a chance for personal and professional growth. 3. Delegating responsibilities. When tasked with leadership roles, practice reverse intimidation by acknowledging the strengths of your team members. Encourage them to contribute their expertise, creating a collaborative and empowered team environment. 4. Social gatherings. Rather than feeling intimidated in social settings, Practice reverse intimidation by embracing your uniqueness. Share your passions, experiences, and interests with confidence, fostering authentic connections with others. 5. Performance reviews. During performance reviews, showcase your accomplishments and contributions confidently. Discuss your growth areas openly and express a commitment to improvement. 
transforming the evaluation process into a constructive dialogue. 6. Handling disagreements. In situations of disagreement, practice reverse intimidation by maintaining composure and respect. Clearly articulate your perspective, and actively listen to others. This approach fosters open communication and can lead to constructive resolutions. 7. Job search and interviews. When job hunting, practice reverse intimidation by presenting your skills and experiences with confidence. Instead of viewing the interview as an interrogation, see it as an opportunity to mutually assess if the organization is the right fit for both parties. 8. Leadership challenges. In leadership roles, practice reverse intimidation by being transparent about decisions and challenges. Demonstrate a willingness to collaborate with team members, creating an inclusive and supportive work environment. 9. Setting boundaries. Practice reverse intimidation by confidently setting and enforcing personal boundaries. Communicate your limits with assertiveness, ensuring that others respect your needs and fostering healthier relationships. 10. Creativity and innovation. In creative environments, practice reverse intimidation by embracing your unique ideas and perspectives. Contribute to discussions with creativity and enthusiasm, creating an atmosphere that values diverse thought and innovation. Remember, the key to effective reverse intimidation is to approach each situation with confidence, authenticity, and positive assertiveness, tailoring your approach to the specific dynamics of the scenario at hand. These examples demonstrate the versatility of the concept across various aspects of life. Encouraging individuals to proactively shape their experiences and interactions. Stories of triumph and empowerment. Through the inspiring stories of real individuals, we uncover how confidence, authenticity, and positive assertiveness can turn seemingly daunting scenarios into opportunities for personal and professional triumph. 1. The Networking Maven Lisa's Story. Instead of blending into the background, she confidently approached others, sharing her passion for her work. By embracing her authenticity, she not only established meaningful connections, but also found herself at the forefront of valuable opportunities. 2. The resilient innovator Alex's journey. Facing skepticism in a corporate setting, Alex, a young innovator, practiced reverse intimidation. He confidently pitched his groundbreaking ideas, Acknowledging potential challenges while exuding unwavering belief in their potential. His authentic and assertive approach not only garnered support, but also positioned him as a catalyst for positive change within the organization. 3. The team player leader Maria's leadership style. As a team leader, Maria faced the challenge of balancing assertiveness with collaboration. By practicing reverse intimidation, she acknowledged and leveraged the strengths of her team members creating an environment where everyone felt valued. This empowered her team to surpass expectations and fostered a culture of mutual support. 4. Navigating Criticism James's Resilience James, a mid-level manager, encountered a particularly challenging performance review. Instead of being disheartened, he embraced reverse intimidation. He calmly discussed his accomplishments, acknowledged areas for improvement, and actively sought solutions. His positive assertiveness transformed the review into a constructive dialogue, leading to personalized development plans and enhanced job satisfaction. 5. The Job Seeker's Success Emily's Interview Mastery Emily, a job seeker, applied reverse intimidation during interviews. Rather than viewing them as one-sided evaluations, she confidently presented her skills and experiences. By expressing her genuine enthusiasm for the role and the organization, she not only secured job offers but also contributed to a positive and engaging interview experience for both parties. These stories illustrate the transformative power of reverse intimidation in various aspects of life. From networking triumphs and leadership journeys to handling criticism and job interviews. Individuals who embrace confidence, authenticity, and positive assertiveness find themselves not only overcoming intimidation but also shaping their narratives of success. As you explore the possibilities of reverse intimidation, let these inspiring stories serve as beacons of encouragement, motivating you to apply this empowering concept in your own life.
If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Please feel free to comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Remember to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.